different types of machineries for the manufacture of coir brushes. 1. Circular saw 2. Lathe 3. Drilling machine 4. Top shearing machine 5. Hand lever shear 6. Wire twisting machine 7. Band saw 8. Planer 9. Jigsaw 10. Sander machine Circular saw The name of the device is circular saw. Circular saw is used for making cutting continuous. It is mainly used for sawing wood sections to the required size in cross cut and ripping type sawing. The circular saw consists of a circular blade having saw teeth. This circular saw is mainly using for cut the wood in cross shape as per the measure and section of the brush. The parts of the circular saw are Base frame Teeth Circular blade The cutting process for brush making happens while the blade is rotating. The blade is fixed on a shaft which is driven by a motor of 2 HP. When the saw blade rotates, the wood sections are fed into the blade from one side and are pressed against the blade for sawing. The diameter of the blade varies from 10 inches to 24 inches. When the cross cutting in a particular measure is needed, there is an attach of saw guide and it helps while brush making on its process without shaking. Safety rules should be followed while operating the circular saw. 1. Make sure that all the bearings of the circular saw are lubricated. 2. Keep the saw guard in proper adjustment and alignment. 3. Keep the table surfaces free from accumulation of wooden scraps. 4. Keep the floor free from obstruction in the area in front of the circular saw. Speed lathe or wood turning lathe The speed lathe removes wood from the workpiece to give it the required shape and size of the brush stick. The speed lathe consists of a bed, a headstock assembly, a tailstock and a carriage or tool post. A 1 HP motor operates the machine. The size of a lathe is based on height, swing diameter, length between the centers and bed length. The speed lathe consists of a bed a headstock assembly, a tailstock and a carriage or tool post. Bed The lathe bed forms base of the machine on which the other parts are strongly mounted. Bed is made up of strong cast iron. The headstock and the tailstock are located at either end of the bed and the carriage rests over the lathe bed and slides on it. Headstock the headstock is secured permanently on the inner waist at the left hand end of the lathe bed and it provides mechanical means of rotating the workpiece at multiple speeds. It has two or three spindle speeds and light cuts and high speeds are provided in the wood turning lathe. Tailstock The tailstock is located on the inner waist at the right hand end of the lathe bed. The tailstock supports the other end of the workpieces during turning. 
The tailstock is adjustable to accommodate the different length of the work pieces. Carriage The carriage of the lathe serves to support, move and control the cutting tool. The wood sections of smaller size suitable to the particular type of brush are taken to the thickness planer for planing or to the wood turning lathe for turning as per the requirement. Now the wood for brush is turned in a wood turning lathe. The wood piece is fixed in between the headstock and tailstock of the lathe under minimum tension. These are the tools to turn the wood portion of all types of coir brushes such as banister brush, commode brush, etc. Take the big tool first to shape the wood in cylindrical form. After switch on the machine, take the tool into the tool carrier and start the turning. The tool is mounted on the adjustable slide and is fed into the workpiece by hand. As the tool is controlled by hand, the depth of cut and thickness of the chip is very small. Depending on the length of the stick of different coir brushes, measurements are made on the wooden handle to be turned. Turn the handle portion. Shaping of wood is accomplished by holding the wood securely and rigidly onto the machine and then turning it against a cutting tool which will remove wood from the workpiece in the form of chips. The handle portion has to be made short. As per the convenience and requirement, it should be turned into shape and size. Remove the unwanted marks of the chisel by using another chisel for finishing and to get good surface appearance. Polish with sandpaper for final finish. Thereafter, it is cut and removed. Now the wood for banister brush is turned. Sensitive Drilling Machine Sensitive drilling machine is used in brush making. It is a small machine designed for drilling holes at a high speed on wood. The cutting tool known as drill is fed into the workpiece by hand control. The sensitive drilling machine is used to drill holes on the turned or planed or shaped wood handles to the depth and diameter required for the specific type of brush. The drill bits are made of high speed steel. The operator sends the cutting action at any instance, hence the machine is named as sensitive drilling machine. It can drill holes of diameter 0.35 mm to 15.5 mm. The size of the sensitive drilling machine depends on the maximum diameter of the drill it can hold, diameter of the large workpiece, table dimension, maximum spindle travel and number of spindle speeds and feed available. One HP motor operates the drilling machine. The important parts of the sensitive drilling machine are Base Column Table Head Spindle Base The base is that part of the machine on which the column, spindle, head, etc. are rests. The base of the machine is mounted on the floor. Column The column is a rigid vertical member of the machine which supports the table and head containing all the driving mechanism. 
table. The table is mounted on the column and is provided with T slots for clamping the workpiece directly on its face. The table may be round or rectangular in shape. Head The drilling head is mounted on the top of the column and houses the driving and feeding mechanism for the spindle. Spindle The spindle assembly is a vertical shaft which holds the drill bit. The spindle is made to rotate within a non-rotating sleeve or barrel which is known as quill or sleeve. The fade is fixed according to the depth of the holes by adjusting a ratchet shaft attached to the spindle assembly. Sensitive hand feed is applied for trial cut and for cutting small holes such as drilling holes for brush making. It is special mentioned that when commode brush drills, there is a difficulty that it is not possible on table to work that its shape is round. So we can adjust it and rise with a stand or wooden piece. Now this piece is turned and drilled. Top Shearing Machine This is called Top Shearing Machine. After completing the filling of the fiber tufts into the holes of the base material of the brush, it is taken for shearing the top portion of the fiber tuft so as to have a uniform bristle surface finish. The top shearing machine consists of a rotating cylindrical spiral blade and a fixed ledger blade. The brush is fed into the machine over a table. The distance between the surface of the table and the blade can be adjusted according to the pile height by moving the table up or down. The cutting takes place while high revolution of the spiral blade with the help of the fixed flat ledger blade. These are the finished brushes after shearing. Hand Lever Shear The hand lever shear is used to cut metal plates, flats and also for cutting the GI wires for brushes. The hand lever shear consists of a moving metal cutter and a fixed blade. The GI wire is cut by moving the top blade downwards with the help of a hand lever. The GI wire cut to required length is used for the winding the tuft of fiber for filling on the wood material of coir brushes. It is bent into U-shape with the help of a player. Wire Twisting Machine Wire Twisting Machine is used for fixing fibers in between the GI wire and subsequent twisting to make the brush. Wire twisting machine has a hook for holding the wire which is revolved when the machine is rotated. The free end of the wire is held by a vice-like device at the other end. The vice-like device rests on a rail which helps it to move towards the fixed hook and away from it. While twisting, this is held back from its onward movement towards the hook by means of a spring or dead weight attached to it at the other end. The GI wire to be twisted is held between the hook and a vice-like device. The twisting is done when the hook revolves. When twisting takes place, according to the rate of contraction length of the wire, the vice-like device moves towards the hook to compensate for the contraction in the length of the wire. 22 gauge GI wire is used for making wire brush. After completing the twisting of coir fiber, it is then sheared for uniform pile height. The pile height of the fiber will be 2 cm. The wire brush is used for bottle cleaning. 
Bandsaw 